When analyzing a chart, I always have to look for important key levels and important channels on the chart. Because there is a reason to price movement, this is the structure today, this black line is dividing yesterday's session with today's session. This right here is the lowest point during the pre-market structure and this is the highest point so this is where I'm going to select important key levels because they may eventually come into play. We have a dodge working lower close outside so according to channel rule, I expect prices, sellers to test the new extreme. New extreme was tested according to channel rule and notice where prices made their way to. We are bouncing at the bottom important low that they kill which means buyers may start buying around this price level. Everything in price action makes sense because we are trying a train range dodge and played out, very depletion, low the day. So we definitely can expect some significant bullish bounce. This is exactly what is happening. Prices are breaking the upside and I have to redraw a brand new channel because just like we had channel working lower, breaking extreme, we have a brand new channel working higher. We're going a little bit sideways. We have five bars stacked right next to each other and we broke lower. Technically we have micro double top count reset, but this is visually two leg up pullback, one leg down, break second leg down. And this is also Fell breakout, we broke lower out of this train range. Most breakouts will fail. And once again, just like here, we expect new low. Now we expect new high to be tested. And this right here is a visual, visual second entry long and a fell breakout. Decent setup if you're going to use deeper limit order. Why? Well, because the single bar is quite big and it is closing on its high. But because they're bouncing off of these lows, our next target is most likely around these highs, the resistance. There is no reason for prices to continue bearish because downtrend played out and the buyers step into the market around this price level. We keep working higher and because prices never truly broke below EMA, I'm going to redraw a spike and a channel pattern. But just as I'm drawing my spike and a channel pattern, we have high impact news being announced, which you never want to be taking a trade around high impact news. And you can see prices keep trending higher. So this spike and a channel is not really a good fit. So I'm going to draw a bit bigger channel, a bit steeper one. Even the steeper channel right now has overshoot. You can see how unnatural this momentum is because you have push phase, correction phase, push phase, correction phase, push phase, and there is no correction phase, massive overshoot. Even if I'm gonna draw a wider channel, I still end up with slight overshoot. You can see massive overbought push phase created by the news. So this is no ordinary price movement. This was generated by the news, which it can generate spike in volatility. There can be a little bit of whipsaw of prices. So I definitely need to be patient what's going to happen now. Number one, I have to respect the short term down to work in lower. So I'm going to connect these swings at the top. There is no setup. Let's say there is an entry above this single bar. Okay, close to the key level. Can you take it? You cannot because the downtrend is clearly in play and it visually looks like a one leg work in lower. Okay, and we had overshoot and overshoot can break the trend line or possibly even reverse the entire trend. This can happen when the momentum was too overbought. Okay, the downtrend is quite steep. Now we're breaking above EMA and we have, let me see, micro double top can reset, first entry long, second entry long. This is a high low confirming the second entry long. Problem is we have significant correction phase after overshoot and there can be the second leg down. This doesn't seem like a good enough setup given this massive bearish bar and the overall structure of the trend was not healthy. But if you took a risk here, I can mark it was okay set up with a good chance simply because the single bar is quite small and definitely if you're going to use limit order the risk is so tiny no problem but because this leg down is so strong the downtrend is in play and this was just an overbought area we can have stronger pullback now prices are going way too sideways ema is flattening so this is indicating indecision neutral bias so i cannot go long i cannot go short and we can see how the prices are suddenly getting more and more bearish now we have downtrend, break, new extreme, broader two leg pullback, and we have fell breakout out of this consolidation. So this right here is a second entry long fell breakout. There's going to be break about this bar right here. Now, I still think it is a little bit early to go long simply because the overshoot and how bearish this was, because once you have a break, you expect new high fairly quickly. This is not really the structure that you would like to see if you're thinking about buying. It's better to wait for the high-low confirmation setup simply because the sellers are going to get trapped selling so far from the EMA. So this is decent high-low high probability setup because at this point, there's still a chance we're going to test the new high. Okay, overshoot can reverse the market back into trend range, but you don't know this. You have to understand the structure as you're trading this live. So 
let's see what's going to happen. Now here for a second entry, sure there's going to be a break above this bar, but I cannot go long above such a horrible bearish bar. I need to go long above bullish bar, so no entry here. And market turned all the way back into a trend range, which means right now I have to adapt and I have to right now forget about new high of this uptrend because the retracement is simply too deep. We're moving too far from the initial uptrend. The further you move, the more you have to adapt to current bias, current structure, because you don't want to be looking for new extreme indefinitely. And if you're going to go on a high time frame, actually, we can see on 10,000 tick chart that there was a first lag of the channel break and this was the second finishing lag. So high time frame can help us identify the overall structure. This is the high time frame, 10,000 tick chart, one leg break, move to a new extreme, the market end up reversing. So high time frame like this can help you understand what may happen and it can help you predict that the market's going to reverse now because we had to take into consideration a little bit from the previous session. So prices keep working lower. We have a new low, first entry short. I'm thinking about second entry short, but we already have a small break and a new extreme. So this downtrend played out, which means I cannot be thinking about selling. I was thinking about some variation of a spike and a channel pattern, but even this spike and a channel pattern played out because you can never fully correct the EMA, which means the structure is a little bit stronger, but now that you have a break, move to new extreme again, even this channel played out, and I can't really draw it any wider at this point, because you can see I have no confirmations here. As a spike and a channel structure, you want to have early confirmations for early swings. The more you're broadening the spike and a channel, and you don't have confirmations at the beginning, this means the channel is a little bit too broad, and you have to follow the trend line rule and draw the channels tight. So at this point, this downtrend is with the break move to new extreme i was also looking for something like this but at this point it's a little bit too broad so it is better to follow your shortened channel pay attention to the structure we are inevitably trading lower so do not think about buying you need to see proven uptrend first before you're going to think about buying right now we're heading back into trend range the downtrend is the pattern but because the downtrend played out i'm simply going to pause looking to sell and let's see what's going to happen can i go short can i go long Okay, we have a break in your high market moves in pairs of twos, one leg up, break, second leg up. There is a break and a new extreme. Okay, so because uptrend played out and we broke below EMA, right now EMA is flattening and I'm forced to adapt to brand new market structure because price action is always telling you what the structure is being developed in front of you. We trade it down into consolidation EMA flatten up and up and down so right now what's going through my mind is trend range rule buy low sell high so i want to wait for prices get to the top of the trend range to this key level we're not with the key level so i cannot sell just yet it still worked for decent scalp but you still want to make sure you're going to pull back to this key level and now uptrend played out and more importantly because market moves in pairs of twos i have one leg up break second leg up perfect measure move Uptrend played out with the break in extreme. This is a clear and confirmed trend range. And this right here is a great signal bar acting as a fell breakout. And you're going to combine the bearish bias working lower with the trend range rule. Most breakouts will fail. I was waiting for a low high confirmation setup, which form here, you take one thing higher. All of these bulls, they got trapped buying right into the top of the trend range. Great signal bar. It is a little bit bigger of a signal bar. You can see four points. So you may want to use limit order, wait for trigger, trap your limit order further back way down. You can see it came back all the way here. So you're going to drop your limit order. This is lower high confirmation setup of the felt breakout. Great year one signal bar. And this is interesting setup because this is technically micro double bottoms. So I have to reset the count. Okay. But visually we can see many two legs, one leg up break, second leg up. And because right now, if I'm going to zoom out, the sharp traders can already see that if I'm going to connect the two swings here, we actually have third swing confirmation. This adds even more confidence in the bearish bias and you have two swings at the bottom. So we have three swing confirmation at the top, two swings at the bottom, which is always good to have some confirmation of the bottom to understand that the channel is valid. And now we can trust the setup even more. Unfortunately, it was visual second entry short not really the technical one so it is a bit harder to take but because the single bar is nice you can consider as well 
market keeps trending lower, keeps trending lower. At this point, the downtrend has been established as the significant pattern. Can you take a second entry short here? Of course you cannot because the body is so far from the EMA, short term uptrend is in play, horrible signal bar, everything is wrong. You cannot take just a second entry alone. You want the correction phase to finish first. So we draw the correction, wait for the signal bar, wait for a break in your high, and then you can think about selling. Just like here, they're focusing on selling high. You can see the tool I get pulled back, depleted, break in your high, and you're selling high. This is where the significant move will happen. That's the whole point. You want to take the significant move, sell as high as we can. If you're breaking below EMA, the downtrend right now is kicking in. Now we have another lower high, which would be okay, but it's so far from the EMA. There was no bullish bar in between trapping the bulls because if there is a nice bullish bar prior to lower high, you know that the bulls got trapped. Just like here, this is a perfect setup bar. We call this setup bar because the bulls are going to get trapped once they get reversed down. Here, there is no good bullish bar. Not that many traders are going to go long above this bar. Had there been stronger lower high, closer to the EMA, you can consider, but this feels a bit more aggressive, but you can see the downtrend is kicking in. So if you're thinking about lower high, that's a good market analysis break. New extreme, you have second entry short. It actually made a significant scalp. It worked for a scalp, but the short term uptrend is still in play. The single bar is weak. So even though it worked, I don't want to take it. And now we have massive bullish bar and we're breaking above EMA. So now I'm not thinking about selling because we have massive bullish bar. We're bouncing off the trend channel line, which means we can have stronger pullback. We can go to the opposite side, but this is always a little bit a worry. Once we have such a significant bullish bar breaking above EMA, I can't really trust selling anymore. No setup here, no setup here. Congestion flat EMA, so let's really just be patient. Looks like the channel is a little bit wider. Break, move to a new extreme, and prices are breaking below EMA. And once again, market moves in pairs of twos. Not every single time here we have only one leg working higher because the momentum was so strong that we instantly reverse down. This is why we wait for a low high to try to catch the massive momentum lower. This lower high was a little bit weak. Now we have brought to like a pullback, break a new extreme. So once again, similar situation like here. Once you can train your eyes to look for these two like a pullbacks, you know that the correction is dissipating, new high, push below EMA is indicating momentum. Everything is being told to us by price action. This downtrend needs to get new extreme tested so we can predict where the market's gonna go without any indicators. Right now, we just need to have some decent setup Something like here, some low high, some for second entry long, or plain second entry short. Okay, we're moving lower. Big bullish bar, followed by massive bearish bar. How big is this bar? 4.25, okay. So this is significant bar, so beginner traders may skip because the risk is too big, or you can simply wait for the trigger below. There's a trigger and try to dropping your limit order further away back down. Make sure to decrease the risk because the signal bar is big, but because it's such a great signal bar, bounce off the EMA, two legged pullback, we need to get new extreme. If you're going to use limit order, you can consider taking a low high, but I would not sell at the bottom of this bar. It's simply too big. Okay, market corrected a little bit. Now you cannot go short. You're not even at the EMA. You're going way too sideways. It made the scalp. Market continue working lower. It made the scalp even without the limit order, but definitely with the limit order. You can see how the momentum is dissipating. That's price action telling you that the bulls are not giving up just yet because normally you expect massive spike down the new extreme while well, it's not happening okay we're breaking off ema so i cannot go long now i need to wait for the push below ema okay we're breaking below ema so now i want to see a low high again or i want to see second entry short one leg down second leg down but we already created new low without a second entry short which is unfortunate so right now what i have to do i have to pause looking to go short because we just have a break and new extreme so we can enter correction phase or reversal but market is not reversing in fact it's not even correcting how do i know this well because you would expect after breaking extreme prices to break above ema if after breaking your low you can see ema rejecting every single time that's a very good sign and once again we keep working lower that's a very good sign that there can be okay trend continuation that doesn't happen that often eight or nine times out of ten after breaking your high or new low you're gonna have correction or reversal but if the trend is strong and you can read this by analyzing the price action there is actually a trend continuation phase 
because you're failing to break above EMA, no reversal, no correction, series of lower highs and lower lows. So at this point, once you keep pushing so far down, you can adapt. Okay, we probably have bearish continuation and you have new low, first entry short pullback, second entry short. You can't really take it just yet, but now we have a lower high confirmation setup. It tick higher, reverse down. This is decent entry confirming the trend continuation. Market is trending lower and now it is getting a little bit too late towards the close. This is the overall structure for the day. Very predictable at the beginning of the session, trading range with shortened channels. This overshoot and overbought unnatural bullish push created by the news was a little bit confusing because it generated a stronger pullback that eventually reversed. So this is the only confusing area today. But once you pull back into the trading range, a brand new downtrend has been established. Look for market symmetry, look for geometric formations and high probability setups at the top of the correction phase because this is where the push phase will start. I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you had a good trading day and we're going to talk to you next time. Like your trading.